uh, Major Brandon Telkin. B R A N D O N T E L K E N. I'm a assistant duty, assistant director of operations for the Triple Nickel. So Cobra Warrior is a, it's a biannual exercise hosted by the Royal Air Force in the UK. Uh, it's essentially the equivalent of our weapons school integration uh, exercise back home, where they invite a bunch of partner nations to the UK uh, to essentially uh, participate in a bunch of large force exercise employments. So there's going to be this year in Cobra Warrior 22-2 uh, about eight missions over the next month. Uh, where in each mission there could be up to 200 plus aircraft participating uh, with uh, just a bunch of dissimilar aircraft in a, in a rolling scenario type situation. Here it's going to be the Royal Air Force uh, of course and then uh, the Italian Air Force is going to be participating, the German Air Force and then we have several USAFE units. So the Triple Nickel showed up here at Lake and Heath uh, middle of last week. Uh, since then we've been essentially bedding down our personnel and our equipment as well as our 14 jets. Uh, we've also, uh, the FGS has generated for, uh, 40 plus sorties so far where we've gotten all of our pilots essentially oriented to the local area and started doing some training to get used to flying here in the UK before we start the exercise. The 31st Fighter Wing has about 300 people right now deployed to the UK uh, between here at RAF Lincoln Heath and then also at RAF Leeming. So the 56th Rescue Squadron and uh, Rescue Generation Squadron is up there. They have uh, about 30 to 60 people and then we have about 250 people stationed here to support our 14 jets for the 50 Jet Fighter Squadron. Uh, I'm personally really looking forward to getting a lot of uh, good training here that we can't necessarily get back home station, which includes a lot of flying with dissimilar aircraft, partner nations, and then just the large force employment itself. Flying with that many jets in the same airspace is really a unique opportunity. It's going to be, I'm really looking forward to that. But I'm also, uh, outside of that, really looking forward to kind of immersing into the UK's military aviation culture. They have a really uh, rich history here, uh, and I, I'm looking forward to getting to know some of their traditions and working with their pilots. I'd like to say the world famous highly respected Triple Nickel is here and we're fenced in, we're ready to fight. Uh, one screen always green and kill mix.